In this video, I show you how to combine first and last names into full names using the concatenate function. Let's dive in. I'm Casper from Spreadsheeto, and the concatenate function is a bit old school, but it's super easy to use. So to combine first and last names, simply hit equal sign and write concatenate, open parenthesis, and then select the names you want to join. So the first name should be joined with the last name. But when we do this, we have a problem. So let's see what that is. The problem is that this is combined into one word and we don't want that. Obviously, we want the names and the, the first names and last names separate, but in the same cell. So in order to do that, go into the function again and then uh, inside of the parenthesis, we need to enter what goes in between the two words that we want to join. So in this case, that could be a, a space. That would be a pretty obvious choice here. So just write a space. So quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma. So then we are going to join what's in cell A2 with the space here with what's in B2. So hit enter and there you have it. The names combined into full names. So that was pretty easy, right? So with the concatenate function, we can also modify it a bit. So if we don't want to present the names like this, we might want to present them with the last name, comma, first name. And we, we can do that also with the concatenate function. Just write concatenate, open parenthesis. And then instead of, of selecting the first name, select the last name instead. So select the last name. And then we need to enter what goes in between the words because we want something in between the words. And in this case, that'll be quotation mark and then a comma and then quotation mark again. But not, not just that, but we need a space after the comma. If we just do it without, let's do it without and see what happens. So we have the last name and we're gonna combine it with a comma. And then we're gonna combine that with whatever's in A2. So oh, close parenthesis, hit enter. And then we get Bardnik comma Samuel and that's great but we need a space too so go into the formula and add a space right after the comma here and there you have it and that's how you join cells it could be first and last names and like it is in this case using the concatenate function there are plenty of other ways to join cell content in Excel and if you want to learn that you need to watch this video over here it's pretty crucial if you want to learn more about that but instead, if you want to split cell content, so for example, if you have the full name, but want to split it into first and last names, you need to watch this video here so you can learn how to do that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.